Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE, General Test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is where you want to practice from. It has seven real exams. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that appears in exam number two on page number 200, question number eight. Question number eight. Let's take a look at it. We are told that the average, another way of saying the average, a very, very nerdy, very geeky way, a proper way, mathematical way of saying average, is arithmetic mean. It's referred to as arithmetic mean. The average of 12 and 20 is equal to the average of 15 and x. All right, let's make a note of it. So how do you find the average of two numbers? Well, we had add them up. 12 and 20, there are two of them, so you divide by two, and that average, we are told is same as the average of 15 and x. Again, you divide that by two, if you take the average of average of those two numbers, 15 and x, this average is same as that average. And then we are asked to compare, we are being asked to compare x versus 16. Let's see what we can do. Well, first thing we realize is that since this quantity is being divided by 2 and this quantity is being divided by 2, this 2 plays no role in it. For example, if you ask me to compare, for example, if you ask me to compare 3 plus 8 divided by uh, 3 versus uh, 6 plus 1 divided by 3, and if I'm not quick enough and if I'm not smart enough, I could sit there and waste my time and figure out what is 11 divided by 3 is, and then again waste my time and divide, figure out exactly what 7 divided by 3 is, and then I will realize that this quantity is bigger. But this 3 plays no role. Because whatever the top is, you're dividing by 3, and here, whatever the thing is, you're dividing by 3, it negates itself. It negates itself, it cancels itself out. If, if I compare a third of this quantity and a third of that quantity, why don't I just compare the whole of that quantity and the whole of this quantity? A comparing an eighth of this quantity and comparing an eighth of this quantity was the bloody point in it. Just compare the whole thing. So this 2 plays no role. So I'm going to get rid of it. It plays absolutely. I'm going to also erase this thing so we don't get confused. So this place, this two plays no role, so I'm going to erase it. We do not need it. Let's move the equation sign a little bit higher. So if you tell me that the average of two numbers is the same as the average of the other two numbers, that tells me that the sum of these two numbers has to be same as the same, same as the sum of these two numbers. This is 32, and this is 15 plus x. So 15 plus what number is going to be 32? Or if you want to be a little bit more geeky, if you want to be a little bit more proper and, and, and nerdy, you can subtract 15 from both sides and you will see that it's 17 obviously. X needs to be 17 because 17 plus 15 is 32. So X is 17, this is 16, the answer is A. That's all. That's all it is. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to any of the problems in this book, in either case, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P, prep, F-O-R-4, G-R-E, dot com and send me an email. All right? Thank you.